Here is the second video in our rafter step off method where we are going to use a framing square to lay out increments to create a roof rafter. And I would definitely recommend watching part one. I will put a link in the video description box to that. And that's where we came out with this one here. We are using a 5 and 12 roof pitch. And in one of our examples, we used an 8 foot wide or an 8 foot span. And after calculating the length of the roof rafter, we ended up with a 4 foot 4 inch theoretical rafter length. And after we deducted half of the thickness of the roof ridge, we would have the length of our rafter. And as long as you're not going to be working with inches, then you could use the methods in the first video. However, if you are going to be working with inches and you're not going to be dealing with exact measurements in feet, like 8 feet here, instead you're going to be dealing with 8 feet 6 inches, then you're at the right place because I will now show you how to figure out these roof rafters so that you can build your house or your shed. And I'm going to use the rafter where we have already laid out four increments, four of our four feet increments to save a little bit of time there. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave the seat cut on it. And if you need more information about the seat cuts, again, make sure you watch the first video. So let's go ahead and go to the top of the roof rafter where we will be lining up the 5 for our 5 and 12 along with the 12. And that would look something like this if we line up the 12 here with the edge and then the 5 over here with the edge. And if you're dealing with a 4 and 12 roof pitch, then you would be lining up the number 4 there on that side, but still using the number 12 on this side. And then we're simply going to slide the framing square over to where the number 12 here lines up with this line here. And double check to make sure that the framing square is still in its correct position of 5 and 12. Then we can simply come over 3 inches from the 12 inch measurement and then make a mark on the lumber, something like this. Or we can reposition the framing square and do it another way. We could slide the framing square over to the 3 inch mark on the framing square to where we have 3 inches here and then make another mark here or simply draw a line here. And let's go ahead and zoom in on that so that you can get a better idea what we're doing or what we did. Again, here's our mark. And like I said, you could always draw a line here or just make a mark and then move the framing square over or use a straight edge to extend the line all the way to the other side. Or instead of extending the line, you can go ahead and deduct half of the width of the roof ridge. And in our case, we're going to be using a two by eight. That is going to be an inch and a half wide. So we will need to deduct three quarters of an inch. And this doesn't mean that you're going to deduct three quarters of an inch from this side here. It's got to be square or a 90 degree angle off of these lines here. And you can always make a mark here and then grab the framing square while making sure that it is in the 5 and 12 position there so that you can draw your line for the top of the roof rafter. Then you can go ahead and cut it and put it in place. And if for whatever reason you're off just a little bit, let's say you have a gap at either the bottom or the top of the roof rafter, then you can always go ahead and shave a little bit off of it to make the rafters fit nice and tight. Now, if all of that makes sense, you can stop watching the video if not, I will provide you with one more example where we will be using a fraction here. So again, we're simply going to take this measurement here and divide it by two. Or take the nine and a quarter measurement and divide that by two because we're still going to be working with our four one foot increments. And if we divide this in half, we're going to get four and five eighths inches or 4.625 as a decimal. And we will simply repeat the process. Eight foot nine and a quarter span, 
we will zoom into our rafter where we have four increments again and then we will go ahead and head over to the top grab our framing square and then position it to where it is going to be at four and five eighths inches and usually the eighth of an inch marks will be on your framing square if not five eighths of an inch is directly in between a half inch and three quarters of an inch and then we will go ahead and make a mark over here or we can go ahead and deduct the three quarters of an inch we need for half of the thickness of our roof ridge and then make a mark there instead of using the previous method and providing you with a better method or another method that might work for you. And then we can go ahead and move the framing square over to the desired location so that we can mark the top of our roof rafter. And after we have done that, we can go ahead and cut it and then check it to make sure that it fits. And if it does, then you have successfully laid out your roof rafter with a measurement in inches and a fraction. And don't forget, if you have any questions, if there's anything that didn't make sense or something I might have missed in the video, feel free to share that with us in the comment area.